Thursday, October 20th, and I'm a creature from the vlog. Creatures from the vlog have been sick all week. Um, speaking of sickness, Clover seems to be a lot better now. Last Thursday, the time that I would have been spending working on this video, I spent at the animal hospital where they shot her full of 14 days worth of antibiotics. So, I think she's better now. I haven't really been keeping that much close of an eye on her, but I need to because we have an appointment on Wednesday. But she's jumping around, she's fine. Um, she never really became like very sad or like very like slow, but I guess I just need to keep a closer eye on her in these next few days that I'm actually home um, to keep like and make sure that she's okay. So yeah, I have post con sickness. Uh, it really hit me on Monday, like after school I got home and I really wasn't feeling good, started taking medicine for it. Tuesday was the worst day. I actually wouldn't have even gone in on Tuesday if it wasn't for the fact that we had a midterm review for one of the classes where we had a midterm today. Um, I got home on Tuesday and I, I don't really get sick that often, so when I do, I'm a total bitch about it and like I feel like it's the end of my life. One of the ways that I know that I'm actually really sick is when I'm able to nap because napping is not something that comes easily to me. It's not even something that I can do, even if I'm really tired. If I pull an all-nighter, I still can't actually go to sleep until it's like bedtime that night. So Tuesday, I took a four and a half hour nap once I got home from school, and then went to bed at 7.30 and didn't wake up until 6.30, um, which is my normal time that I have to wake up, but like, it's a very long time. I had a lot of sleep. So Wednesday I felt a lot better and today I feel even better. But I'm still kind of congested and I can still kind of feel some phlegm in my throat so that's not good. This week has been kind of rough on me because I was sick like I said and I had a midterm on today uh, that I think went alright and then I had to watch Spanglish for my Women in American Society class. Next week, I have a midterm on every day except Tuesday. So next week is gonna suck. And then following that, I have a paper due, and then I have another paper due, and then I have another paper due, because the end of next month is when my nine page paper is due. And then like mid-December is when my other nine page papers do. So I really have to get on my shit, uh, which I'm not. I'm still behind in one of my classes reading wise, but I really need to catch up because that midterm is on Monday. So I don't think that I'm really going to talk about Comic-Con. I mean, I'm going out with Amanda soon, and then tomorrow I'm going um, to Red Lobster with some friends for Never Ending Shrimp. So maybe next week I'll talk about Comic-Con and then all the shirts that I got from Comic-Con are in the wash right now anyway, so it's not even like I'd be able to show them. So then I'll be able to show my shirts and then I'll be able to show all the other things I bought. So I think I might just save my purchases at Comic-Con for next week. So, I'm going to read off the scene from Kill Bill Volume 2, where L Driver has just killed Bud with the Black Mamba Snake in his trailer. And I don't have a eye patch, which is what I was going to do, so I think I'm going to actually draw an eye patch on my webcam thingy, because close enough. Ideally, I wanted to also have a little notebook that I could like flip through that had like the words on it But then I don't have a little notebook and also that would have been like time-consuming to either like write it out or like, And I just don't have enough time right now now that I go out on Thursdays It's like hard for me to like have time to do everything I need to do, but It's still good because I don't have to worry about work or school work or anything tomorrow. So yeah, so apparently drawing an um, eye patch on your face in black is not an option, so I had to draw it on in blue. Deal with it. I'm sorry, bud. That was rude of me, wasn't it? Bud, I'd like to introduce my friend, 
the Black Mamba. Black Mamba, this is Bud. You know, before I picked that little fella up, I looked him up on the internet. Fascinating creature, the Black Mamba. Listen to this. In the bush, an elephant can kill you, a leopard can kill you, and a black mamba can kill you. But only with the mamba, and this has been true in Africa since the dawn of time, is death sure. Hence, its handle, death incarnate. Pretty cool, huh? Its neurotoxic venom is one of nature's most effective poisons, acting on the nervous system causing paralysis. The venom of a black mamba can kill a human being in four hours if, say, bitten on the ankle or the thumb. However, a bite to the face or torso can bring death from paralysis within 20 minutes. Now, you should listen to this because this concerns you. The amount of venom that can be delivered from a single bite can be gargantuan. You know, I've always liked that word gargantuan. I so rarely have an opportunity to use it in a sentence. If not treated quickly with anti-venom, 10 to 15 milligrams can be fatal to human beings. However, the black mamba can deliver as much as 100 to 400 milligrams of venom from a single bite. Now, in these last agonizing minutes of your life that you have left, let me answer that question you asked earlier more thoroughly. Right at this moment, the biggest R I feel is regret. Regret that maybe the greatest warrior I've ever met, met met her end at the hands of a bushwhacking, scrub, alky piece of shit like you. That woman deserved better. So, that kind of sucked, but I'm sick, so deal with it. Do you like how this um, eye patch moves on its own? Oh, this eye patch, actually. Oh, uh, whatever. Bye. I changed my mind. I did want to share something from Comic Con in this video.